But obviously, like I, like I said, it's just the, the beginning, so it's going to be interesting to see how that one does progress. But speaking of Europe, we have been speaking for a few weeks now in regards to the European qualification for the Rugby World Cup, and we didn't know whether, obviously, my Portuguese boys were going to be getting through or, you know, what was kind of going on there. So we thought we may as well. There's not been a great deal of news outside of this, besides there's one more thing we'll talk about. But, you know, there, we wanted to uh, clarify how you do because they haven't actually figured out which European teams have made it yet it's more so done about a two-year aggregate result across the 2021 and 22 seasons so um, basically for the rugby Europe championship teams results are considered on a two-year aggregate from the 2021 and 2022 seasons the winner and runner-up or teams automatically qualify for the tournament as Europe 1 and Europe 2 individually leaving the team in third place to qualify for the final qualification tournament as Europe 3 but that final qualification tournament is based Basically, the uh, it's not what's it called? It's um, I can't remember what it's called here. That that uh, qualification tournament is not it's not Europe three, but it's like all the third best or the teams that missed out would come to play. So I think it's like oh, is it kind of like a it's like a slightly, mixture, like a I don't even. Know. I was going to say golden point, but that's not the right term. <laughs> but it's kind of like a kind of like. Oh, uh, bo- uh, no, not bogey card. A joker card? No, what is it called? It's the- pretty much that. I'm going to get it for. I'm going to get it for us because otherwise a- it's going to really frustrate me. It's it's going to be. Let's go to pool D. It's pool D, not America's two. Sorry, pool C. Final qualifier winner. It's just called the final qualifier winner. And they, so after all of that, <laughs> it's just the final Quite qualifier winner. Uh, but obviously, there's Europe one who will be in the Wales, Argentina, uh, Wales, Australia, and Fiji group uh, with Europe one, and then also the final qualifier winner will be in that one. So it could obviously be a couple of European teams there, and then obviously Europe two will play South Africa, Ireland, Scotland, and the Asia slash Pacific one team, which I think is between Tonga and Hong Kong, if we're not mistaken there. Uh, but the way it's shaping up right now through the season's aggregates, Georgia is clearly on top with 24 table points. In second is Portugal, who are 14 table points. So right now, uh, it is. I don't know if it's already been qualified here. I don't know if it says 2021 22 season, but it could be just updated as it goes. But Georgia right now would be qualifying for Europe 1, and then Portugal would be qualifying for Europe 2, which would obviously be in that, uh, in that Australia. No, that's the pool B. So Georgia currently would be playing Fiji, Australia, and Wales, uh, with Portugal going to play. Uh, South Africa, Ireland, and Scotland. And then obviously in third position, who would qualify for that final qualification tournament would be Romania, who's on nine. But Russia, Spain, and Netherlands are also there. They're the three other teams that are missing out right now. Surprised with Russia being down so low, but uh, Portugal have played five games. Georgia played five games. Romania, four. And Russia, Spain, three. And Netherlands, two. So Netherlands have lost both those games and Spain have lost all three of their games. So you wouldn't really be expecting a great deal there, but... That is the qualification for the European team. So what do you think about that, man? Do you think, uh, well, what, what, what do you think for the outset of those two teams? Because we all obviously know that Georgia is a pretty decent team. They're not obviously yeah. that good, but they're also a pretty decent team. Mm. I'm going to be excited to see that rematch if they do make it into Pool B, that rematch between them and Fiji. Oh, here we go. It's Pool C, because, by the way. Hmm? Pool C. Pool C is with Wales, Australia and Fiji. Because... They've just got they've got those big forwards like you mentioned about Italy. Georgia also have that, and they've got great work rate in that back line as well, which I think could make it an interesting contest. I know you are. Uh, You're unbelievable. You're actually well. outrageous. Now I'm going to stop you right here. You're actually outrageous to even consider that Fiji and Georgia is going to be a good game. You are absolutely diabolically outrageous. It's going to be a high scoring one. That is for sure. Because Fiji both sides couldn't train. I know you're referring to that tournament, the the Autumn Nations Cup. Not, not really. They're close um, on the table in terms of the world rankings. I should say it. as well. Get off it, Fiji! Oh my God! So you're telling me I'm so, this is it? I'm 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 getting sick of you, mate. Didn't Fiji talking? lose a game in the last World Cup against someone who was like way down the yeah, rankings? Uruguay. If I'm yeah, not yeah. wrong, it was Uruguay. Uruguay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, who were lower uh, than Georgia? If I'm not yeah, wrong, way then. lower than Georgia. So they could actually end up choking this game away, possibly. Fiji, the last time if they, they played, make a they little bit of a mistake. They convincingly beat Georgia, mate. They convincingly beat Georgia the last time they played. They they went one by like 19 points, and they hadn't played. They hadn't had a single second of training because their entire team came down with COVID. Georgia played the entire tournament, got pumped in every single game. And you think because they're in 12th and Fiji's in 11th that they're going to be close this time around. Yeah, but that's what everyone said about the game between Fiji and Uruguay, didn't they? 
no, no, no. Fiji and Uruguay was completely different because the thing with Fiji and Uruguay is that Fiji went into that game thinking they'd already won it. Now, the thing with Georgia is that they wouldn't come into that because obviously the two are relatively close and Georgia isn't like Uruguay. And that's, that's, that's the problem because Uruguay is a team that you would definitely expect to get pumped by, by literally anyone, right? Georgia is a team that could turn up on the day. But the way Fiji is being spoken about right now, the reason why I'm getting a, bit of, getting a bit up here is because like Fiji are currently being spoken about as being a competitive team for the World Cup, as in like being a genuinely competitive team to potentially progress through Pool C over the likes of Wales or Australia. And a lot of people are saying Australia, but I wouldn't think they'd be talking about it like that right now. But like, how have we gone from talking about Fiji being competitive to go through Pool C and now we're saying they could potentially lose to Georgia? I mean, all I said was I was looking forward to the rematch. You and I, I both really know what you just said there, Hamish. As well. <laughs> I tried a little bit of the BKR sport tactic. I decided to try and get under the skid a little bit just well, with one did. statement. It worked. You did, Might mate. have to try it more often. Seemed a you little did, bit yeah. too easy, mate. Yeah, well, buddy, go for it, man. You can, you can go for it all you like, but uh, you're the one who's just come out and said that you think that uh, George is going to compete with a, a nice little cheeky game there alongside the Fijians, if I'm not mistaken, because obviously you think because they're in 12th and they're in thir- 11th and 12th that they obviously have a close game, am I not mistaken? I mean, at the end of the day, they are leading the European one, so they are going to be in that pool unless something drastic changes. Oh, so we're going to get to see oh, that match. And it's just going to be interesting to see who's going to end up also qualifying in that European one because I know you like your Portuguese and they will be in pool. What pool are they getting put into? Currently speaking, currently speaking, they would be in pool B alongside South Africa, uh, Ireland and... It was South Africa, Ireland and somebody else. That wouldn't be a lot of fun in that pool, I wouldn't think. Well, it depends on how, buddy. Yeah, it depends on how South Africa maintain their push right now. Pool D is South Africa, Ireland, Scotland. So... That is not yeah, a fun pool, so actually, yeah. No, that's, that's, that's not a fun that's pool. That's going to be tough. And Asia Pacific 1, which I would assume would be potentially Tonga, uh, unless Hong Kong can adjust there, or oh. I'm not too sure. But it's still a difficult group. because that's Yeah, that's a, that's a tough group there. Uh, but in the same sense, like, look, Georgia, for me, is, is, you know, look, all three of these teams, the fact that they have to qualify for this portion is not the greatest for them. But uh, I don't even know who they've played, but in the same sense, we'll see who qualifies from there. And uh, I just want to put this out there, everyone. Uh, Hamish said that Georgia have a chance against Fiji. So do remember this for when the, uh, the World Cup does come around. Do remember that Hamish predicted that Georgia would be coming in competing very well there with Fiji. <laughs>